The road throughput yield, or RTY, provides a probability that a unit will be generated by a process with no defects. One of the main differences between rolled throughput yield and basic yield or first time yield is that, rolled throughput yield considers whether rework was needed to generate the number of final units. This is a valuable concern, because organizations don't always think about the rework that is inherent in a process, which means they often measure a process and deem it successful even if muda is present. Rolled throughput yield is calculated in a similar manner to first time yield, but it takes a rework into account. If process A, from the first time yield example in the last lecture only achieved a yield of 95 because someone reworked 5 items to make them good, then rolled throughput yield calculations add 5 instances of rework into the ratio. The formula is the number of units entering, minus, scrap plus a rework, divided by number of units entering process. In the case of process A, the number of units entering 100, minus, 5 scrap plus 5 reworks, divided by 100, that gives 90 divided by 100, equals to 0 0.9. Consider the following process chain. 100 units enter process A. 5 are scrapped, 5 are reworked, and a total of 95 are produced. 95 units enter process B. 10 are scrapped, 5 are reworked and a total of 85 are produced. 85 units enter process C. 5 are scrapped, 15 are reworked, and a total of 80 are produced. The roll throughput yield is calculated as follows. The number of units entering 100, minus, 5 scraps plus 5 reworks, equals to 90. Now 90 divided by 100 equals to 0.9 is the roll throughput yield for A. The number of units entering 95, minus, 10 scraps plus 5 reworks, equals to 80, now 80 divided by 95 equals to 0.84 is the rolled throughput yield for B. The number of units entering 85, minus, 5 scraps plus 15 reworks, equals to 65, now 65 divided by 85 equals to 0.76 is the rolled throughput yield for C. The overall rolled throughput yield for the whole process is obtained by multiplying its three rolled throughput yields. That is 0 0.9 into 0 0.84 into 0 0.76 equals to 0 0.574. So, the overall rolled throughput yield for the process is 0 0.574, which is a much lower rate than when you look at first time yield alone. Rolled throughput yield doesn't provide an indication of final production or sales but a low rolled throughput yield indicates that there is waste in the process in the form of rework. Now, if you have understood this problem, let's look into another problem exercise that you can work on at your own. The problem states, a government agency handles applications for assistance for local families. The process for each application includes. A representative enters the family's information into a computer system. A separate staff member reviews the information and uses an income scale to determine if the family is eligible for any assistance. The second staff member sends the family a letter stating their options for assistance. All of the applications and customer feedback for March were reviewed, and the team found the following information. 643 families sought assistance in March. Three families were not able to complete the application process because the representative took too long to see them. Fifty applications could not be passed to the second rep because of incomplete information. Forty-five applications did not have complete information at first but that information was later received. The second staff member was able to process all completed applications she received. Of all letters that went out to families, ten included incorrect information. Calculate the first time yield and the rolled throughput yield for this process.